Just as ministers, you know, we can do, we cannot do much. You know, the Bible has said that, you know, he has given us the apostles, the prophets, the teachers, the evangelists, and the pastors to build up the saints. Yeah. To build up the body of Christ. So it's not just the pastors or the prophets or the apostles to do everything. But the pastors are the trained people so they can all serve God. The revival will come when everyone in the church loves the Lord and want to spread the gospel and build up other people's lives. When the pastor can do a lot of things, it doesn't mean there will be a revival. Because he is only one person. When he has the heart to raise some people, each person is important. Each person has the potential. Spiritual gifts to different people. Not just to the pastor. And then when everyone works together, then the church will grow strong. Now, uh, the, there's echo. There's echo. There's echo. So turn down the. Somebody to control the sound. There's echo. Okay. Now, in the last session, we talked about how to raise some people to serve God. So when we lead them to Jesus, we tell them that when I pray for you, you can experience the work of God. Don't, don't, don't turn up, it's turned down. Turn down. Turn down. Turn down. Okay. So, not too, 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 not too low. Now it's too low. Now it's too low. You have to find a place where there is no echo. Okay. Now, so, in the last session we talked about praying for people and experiencing the Holy Spirit. And we tell them, God comes to you so real. And then you can love God more. And take care of your different problems in life. And then you can be used by God also. And then you can pray for people. And lead them to Jesus. In Mark chapter 16, there Jesus said, Go to all nations to preach the gospel. And he who believes and is baptized will be And the miracles will follow those who believe. In my name, they'll cast out demons. They'll lay hand on the sick, they'll be healed. So Jesus, in giving the great commission, He told them that every Christian can have miracles. So that when we preach the gospel, we can cast out demons and lay hands on the sick. And in Mark 16, verse 20, there it says that God follow, um, have miracles to follow them. Now, to testify to the word of God. That means these miracles testify to the word of God that is true. So it is hard, the heart of God that all Christians will have miracles 
Yeah. So we, we all go out and preach the gospel and pray for people and they experience miracles and we tell them the gospel of Jesus Christ. We can bring more people to Jesus. Now there are many miracle schools in the world now. On the YouTube, you can see people go on the street and pray for the sick. And you can see people heal right away. So it shows that when we have faith, we can see more miracles. Now let me ask you again, how many of you believe in miracles, that uh, there are miracles? I tell you what say, no, I'm happy when I'm meeting with Jesus. How many of you believe there are miracles? Okay, very good. Okay. How many of you, when you lay hand on people and then there are miracles? Okay, we have some, but not everyone, right? How about your church members? Do they dare to go out and pray for people? And have miracles to follow. So we need to practice in the church. Then we, we pray for each other. And ask each other what they have experienced. And then when they keep praying for more people, they know that they carry the power of God. Then they can start praying for the friends and the families. And start going on the street and pray for people. Now let me ask you, first do you have this courage? Go to a stranger on the street and talk with them. Now it could be your neighbors. You ask them how they are. They might say they have difficulties in their family. They might say they have some health problems. Or they are unhappy about something. And then we can say, I have experienced something like that too. And then we pray to God and we experience healing. Would you like me to pray for you? And then if they're willing, then you pray for them. Do you have the courage to go out to the street? How many people have this courage? How many have this courage? Can you raise your hand? Yeah. Okay. okay. We have a few hands. So in a church you can organize a team of people. Then you all learn to love the Lord and to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And then take care of different problems in their lives. That this teaching we talk about to, to take care of the sins. And how not to be affected by people. How to manage our emotions and negative thinking. Because this will affect our relationship with God. But if we trust in God more, we have a stronger presence of God. And we can bless more people. So have these people pray together and take care of their problems. And then pray for each other. And then they see how when they are open to the Lord, when they really love the Lord, Jesus will love you. It's 
from the heart. Jesus, I love you. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is loving me. I want Jesus. The more we open the heart, the more we'll have to carry the power of God. It is something we can build up. And then we can pray for different people. Now some people can experience the Holy Spirit easily. Some people will be harder. The reason is some people are more open. And when we are sensitive to the Holy Spirit, we can also know how much the person has experienced the Holy Spirit. Because when the person is open to the Holy Spirit, you can see the person swaying more. And we also can feel the power more. And we know that this person has experienced something. And then we can ask them what they have experienced. Let me share one ex some experiences that I pray for people and then the whole life is changed. One time I uh, you know, in a meeting, I met a pastor. He said that he has a member who has evil spirit. And he's trying to get a famous pastor to go and drive out demons from her. And I heard that and I said to him, If you ask the famous pastor, you have to wait for a long time. I can go with you today. So we went to the hospital. And this person was totally out of control. Who could not even follow the prayer when they prayed with her? And I pray for her to experience the Holy Spirit. Now usually I pray for people, I don't just use words. I help the person to open their heart to believe that God is loving them and open the heart to love God. So it's for a relational prayer. Because God already knows our need before we pray. So when we have a close relationship with God, then he can experience God more. And then when I pray for this young woman, at first she was totally out of control. But after a while she was very peaceful. At first, the doctor said tomorrow she has to go to the mental hospital. But after I prayed for her, the, the doctor said now she can go home. And she has some friends there. And, and I said to them, I can lay hand on you to protect you from the evil spirit. And then there was one person who experienced the Holy Spirit When I lay her on her, she was swaying. And I said, the power of the Holy Spirit is upon you. Open your heart. The moment she opened her heart, she started to laugh loudly. And we were in a hospital next to an elevator. And there were people passing by. But she was laughing loudly. And after laughing for 
five minutes or so, e kisha, kisha kucheka, kisha kucheka, she began to cry. Kisha and she cried, she cried very loudly. Na kwa and she cried for a very long time. Na kwa muda Maybe for 20 minutes. Ah, kwa and then later she started to laugh again. Na kisha, apa, kanza, tena kucheka. After the prayer, I asked her what happened. She said she had a lot of pain from the past. She has a lot of hurt feelings. And then in the prayer, all the hurt feelings come out. She first experienced the joy of the Lord. And then she laughed. And after that, the joy came. I mean, all the sadness came out. And she started to cry. And then after that, she was filled with joy of the Lord again. And I said, God is so real to bless you. Are you willing? To follow Jesus. She was already a Christian. But she was a weak Christian. And I told her, you can be used by God to bless many people. And later she went to my church. And then she went to the ministry training school. And now she is a missionary. So one time prayer changed her life. Another person, I prayed for her. And she experienced a lot of pressure coming up. She took me to her village. And then I pray for family members. Now because she said, we, we've been Christian for many years, we never saw people filled with the joy of the Lord. So she took me to her village. And I prayed for her family members. Some of them got healed. Many of them got the joy of the Lord. And then I said to her, You see the power of the Holy Spirit. Are you willing to serve God? And she's now a minister too. I have raised some different people to serve God. And I hope you believe the power of the Holy Spirit is very powerful. He can do great things. You can be filled with the Holy Spirit. But it's very important that we know that we need God. God knows our heart. We don't just look for feeling or experiences. Now in some meetings, you might feel very excited. You feel very happy. But if you don't dedicate your life to God, if you don't respond to God totally, the good feeling will go away very quickly. But if you say, God, you're so good, I really love you. I want to be used by you. I want to bless the people. Then you can be blessed greatly by people. And also when we bring people to Jesus and work with our members Sorry. and work with our members we notice that, notice that some of them respond to God more. We notice that some of them love God more. And then we want to pick out these people and train them more. 
It's not just in a big meeting. It's when there are people who are willing to dedicate more time and their heart to God. And you gather them for training. So don't just have big meetings. Big meetings is good. Yeah, Joyful meetings are good. But just joyful meetings and big meetings will not bring up people who serve God. People have to be trained. They have to practice. They keep doing it. And then they get used to it. Now when I and then they have confidence. Now I have confidence. And they report to you. Now sorry. Report to you what they've done. Now I want to be a more fine. If they have brought someone to Jesus, or they have tried to reach out to people, you can ask them to come and share to encourage people to go out to, sh to, to uh, share the gospel. And to let people know that those people who are willing to serve God are the ones we want to learn from. Now there could be 1,000 people in a church. But our 1,000 people, only a certain number will want to respond to God. Those are the most important people in the church. Because if they're willing to reach out, they will have, they will have great power and influence on others. And also when we see Jesus, Jesus will ask us, what have we done for him? First, we we'll tell him what we have done to preach God, uh, to preach the gospel. But we also will tell, tell God, whom have I raised up to serve God? If you have trained people to serve God, if we train five persons to serve God, it's more powerful than bringing 100 people to Jesus. Now say it with me. Uh, you raise up five people to serve God. It's more important than bringing 100 people to believe in Jesus. Because 100 people believe in Jesus, only a small number will serve God. But five people to serve God, they can have a bigger influence. In many churches, there could be many people. But not everyone wants to serve God. So you want to look for people. And gather them and train them. And these people can have big difference in the church. Okay. Amen. Do you have anyone has any question about this? The one who are trained to serve God has much more influence in the kingdom of God. And in the kingdom of God, there are too many people who are not serving God. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to practice praying again. Mahomi. And then I will talk about the qualities of people who serve God. Na nita wambia sasa makalite ambao watu, so tabia watu ambao wanabasha 
mtumikia Mungu. So the practice is very short. Na hiyo hiyo practice itakuwa kifupi kabisa. Okay. Now, let me ask any one or two persons come up here. I'll demonstrate again how to pray with my heart. Sasa kama watu wawili wanaweza kuja kwa mbele, niwaoneshe kisha tena mtu anaweza kuumba kutokana na moyo. Or one or two persons who hunger for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Au mtu mmoja au wawili ambao wana njaa ya kuchashwa na nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu. For relax. Come up, come up. Come So when I pray I don't say many words. Wakati naomba sitajiki kusema maneno mengi. Sisemi maneno mengi. Because it's not many words that change them. Kwa sababu sio maneno mengi ndio yanawabadilisha. It's how my spirit go to God. Niigisi moyo wangu unaenda kwa Mungu. Hallelujah. Now you can think of like this. It's, you cry to God. Ah, the Lord. Sasa unaweza kwa Mungu. Oh, ha When you say, ah, like your spirit ascend to God. Ah, wakati unasema ha, kutoka na ndani, moyo wako unapanda kwa Mungu. Now this is something you have to practice. Lakini hii ni kitu ambayo unapaswa kuwa kwenye matendo. You practice having your spirit ascend to God. Na una unatia kwenye matendo moyo wako upande kwa Mungu. Unasema haleluya. Praise the Lord. Mungu Bwana asifiwe. I worship you. Nina nina kusifu Mungu. Now if you learn to open your heart, wakati unafungua moyo wako, you can have joy coming out. Unaweza kuona furaha inatoka ndani. Haleluya. Haleluya. Oh, Ale, you can all stand up. Chama sisi tu nenda simama. Love God with all your heart. Ufumpele mungu kwa moyo wako wote. You might feel the presence of God. Wote sisi kwa uwepo wa mungu maliya. Thank you, Jesus. Asante Yesu. We love you, Jesus. Tunapenda Yesu. We need you, Jesus. Tunawitaji Yesu. We want you. Tunapenda baba. You're so good. You're so wonderful. Oh, yes, oh, 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 yes, oh, Because if someone is not clean, you lay on the head that the the evil spirit or or sins or problems can pass a person easier. Yeah, kwa sababu ukitwekea mtu mkono na una roho safi, ile 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 mapepo na na dhambi zinaweza toka zinazitransfer mu mtu ambaye unatilia. Don't push. Na usimsukume sukume. Ah, haleluya. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. So a lot of prayer is just relational. Yeah, uh, maombi mengi inapasha kwa ya wawasi wasiliano. It's not asking for a lot of things. Uh, siu kuomba mambo mengi. I have driven out demons just by loving the Lord. Uh, yeye ya mekutua mapepo kwa kumpenda tu mungu. And sometimes healing came to people without asking for healing. Na na kuna kuna mara uponyaji na kuja kwa watu bila hata kuomba uponyaji. So I just love the Lord. Ai ni kumpenda tu Mungu. And think of God loving me. No na unafikiria kwa kisi Mungu anatukupenda. Asante Yesu Kristo. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu Kristo. So encourage. Unamtia moyo. Not to keep talking. Asendelee 
kuongea like some people they will pray like this na kwa sababu kuna watu ambao wanaimba wanaomba kama hivi they will talk very much wanaongea mengi sana they will say i pray for healing nina ninaomba kwa uponyaji healing of all the sickness ah kwa uponyaji wa magonjwa yote god change his life mungu badilie maisha yake acha yeye apate for him mpatie yao maisha yake badilie maisha yake it's a lot of requests ile ni mahitaji mengi I encourage you to have a relational prayer. Mina mina wa tia moyo nina wa nina wa angulaje mkuu na na maoni ya wasiliano. Una unaamini kwa kumpenda Mungu. Because people pray for requests all the time. Kwa sababu watu wanaombea mahitaji kila wakati. We need more relational prayer with God. Tunahitaji sana maombi ya wasiliano na Mungu. In Jesus name we pray. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Amen. Now, have you experienced it? You should I tell them close your eyes. Have you experienced it? Ndio una 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 hakikisha ambao wanafunga micho yako. Macho yako tena waliza. Hebu umehisi kitu saa hii. So have you experienced it? Hebu umehisi kitu fulani saa hii sasa. Kama ta microphone. Na sema ya kwamba wakati niliombewa pele. You can sit down. You can sit. They can sit or they can feel the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Feel the presence of. Yeah. Unaweza kuika, amaweza kufunga micho yako, unasikia uwepo wa ye wa Roho Mtakatifu. Yeah. Go. So, na jisikia tu kwa furaha ya kumtumikia Mungu. Yes, when when uh, after prayer, so I feel that I have joy to serve God. Na wakati nako wekewa mikono and I want the lay hand with me na mtumishi wa Mungu and the man of God nasikia tu furaha imeingia ndani ya moyo wangu I feel my heart is joyful kwa kumpenda Mungu na kwa kuendelea kumtumikia God for loving God and for serving God Amen Asante na unaweza kurudi Notice when I pray for this woman Notice when I pray for this woman waangalieni wakati naombea mama huyu Found his ways. Ah, uh, we Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. 
Now notice I use a lot of singing. Singing is good. It helps your spirit to ascend God. Hallelujah. Say to the person, please keep your eyes closed. And have you experienced anything during the prayer? So remember these two sentences. Please keep your eyes closed. Have you experienced anything during the prayer? Okay, now ask. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Asante, Jesus. Asante, Jesus. Asante, Jesus. Okay, now you ask. That's how you listen. Okay, how many people experienced the work of God? Can you raise your hand? You want God to bless you? Just now. Matendo ya mungu kwa o kwa tempo no juu. How many? One God. Okay. So you see that God is using you. Now, now change. The one who was being laid hand on will now lay hand on the other person. Sasa tu badilishe. Wuli ambayo kwa kitivia mwenzake mwenziwe mkono. Sasa wuli ambayo abadilishe sasa mwenziwe. Reverse. Sasa fanya inverse. So the one who received prayer will pray for the other person. Thank you, Jesus. Asante, Jesus. Asante, Jesus. Now think of our spirit ascending to God. So what the kissy moyo wako unapanda kwa mungu. Ah, ah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Na kusifu Yesu. Praise you, Jesus. Na kusifu Yesu. I worship you, God. Na kwa budu Yesu. I love you, God. Ina kupenda Yesu. I need. I want you, Lord. We depend on you. We hold on to 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 you. Yesu is wonderful. Yesu is good. Yesu ni muema. In Jesus' name we pray. Katika china na Yesu Kristu. Amen. Amen. Now, say this again. Please.
keep your eyes closed for if you have you experienced that sasa ukwambie na ukifunga ukifunga mecho yako muulize ni nini amehisi Now, those who experience the Holy Spirit in, you know, in two times altogether, you have experienced the Holy Spirit. Please raise your hand. In the first time or in the second time, you experience the Holy Spirit. Yeah, kwa wili kwa ya mihisi nguvu za mungu kwa mara ya kwanza mara ya pinda na usabu weka mkono juu. Okay, in the first time and second time altogether. Altogether. Mara ya kwanza na pinda yote pa moja. Ana tazama mkono juu. So you see that we can all be used by God. Sasa unaona kuwa sisi wote tunaweza kutumiwa na Mungu. The more we experience God, na kisa tunachohisi Mungu, the more we can be used by God. Na na hivyo hivyo tunaweza kuendelea ku Yeah, na Mungu. Do you want to go and do it more? Unapenda kuendelea kufanya hiyo zaidi na zaidi? Do you want to train people in your church? Unapenda wafunze watu katika kanisa lako? Have a prayer team. Ukuwe na na kikundi cha maombi. Okay, you can sit down. Ah, timu unaweza kukaa. Train a prayer team in your church. Ya ukuwe na timu ya maombi katika kanisa mwangu. Train a people who can serve God. Unaweza kuwafunza watu ambao watatumikia Mungu. Okay, what what should I end? Should I stop now? Or unaweza kuendelea hivi sasa? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so tomorrow we'll continue. Tomorrow is the last day. Uh, and God bless you all. When you move tonight, uh, stand one time. Now let us do it just for a short time now. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Just for a short time. You cry out to Jesus. Ah. Ah. When you cry like that, come out. I can help you to experience the joy more. Ah, Hallelujah! Now keep saying it.
akamwambia mimi nuka levi zero ni na sasa nilifika hapo nikasikia vyenye viko mwingi vinatoka and when i came forward to the stage i was facing me or away na mimi nashukuru mchungaji mwaliniambia nikuye and i thank i thank to I, i give my thanks to pastor Daniel who invited me to come and to this wow. meeting may god bless you all what, thank what, you what, what, Nini gani kitu gani imekutoka ama shida kati Yes uh, when you you let you you let hands on her then she was shaking she, she, she was trembling the trembling and all those the uh, like bags came out from her what came out uh things like uh, burdens burdens yeah or it got or one as you got So I hope you love God more. Nina nina bila kuna hapo mpenda Mungu zaidi. I cry from your spirit. Na cry out from your spirit. Na unalalamika kutokana na moyo wako. Every day you do this. Ah. Kila siku hapo unasema haleluya and be very free. Na unakuwa huru. So later you start experience joy. Na ingena na hisi. Na ingena na hisi. Okay.